Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 3 of our My Team Career Mode. We are here for the Australian Grand Prix. After finishing two times in a row in P9, let's see if we can do it again. It will be fun to see how long we can keep that streak. It's only been two races, but you know, it's still a streak. And today we can figure out if Max Verstappen is going to win 10 races in a row, if we count the 2023 season as well because he has won the first two races as we are moving through the specialist giving our uh, goals so that we can eventually improve our relationship with them and get some extra perks as you can see unlock at level one two and three um but that's the only thing that we can do really um it's not like we can already level up to level one i think maybe one is getting close now as we have a free upgrade <laughs> We are not going to rush it, mainly because I don't know if the discount will still count if it fails. So I decided to just leave it on standard and get a big package for the Japanese Grand Prix. Um, but if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick, as I've said before. And I, I said like subscribe. Subscribe, we are growing the community every single day as we do not have that upgrade. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good. Um, that means that we don't really have any upgrades for this weekend. We might have one or two, uh, but we are going to do that again. And then we'll have it by the time we go to Japan. A very big upgrade package, but first it's time for the Australian Grand Prix. Well, well, welcome everybody, we're here in the heart of Melbourne. It's Albert Park and it's qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix. Yes, 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 here we are. This is still recorded on the old version of the game. And that's what I mean is the old handling of the game. So you'll see me drive a bit different than what you can drive today in the new handling model. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Is it an improvement? Is it a setback? Uh, what is your opinion about the new handling model in the F1 game? As we are completing our first lap in Q1. Of course, we are still in the Alpha Tauri, the beautiful car that it is. Uh, to be honest, it's the beautiful, it's the most beautiful car in the entire, tr uh, in the entire, not the entire track. Uh, at the moment, everybody's out, so you can say that. Uh, but on the field, it's the most beautiful car. I've seen in the most recent years. It brings me back to Tor Toro Rosso. Toro Rosso. Do I pronounce it right? I don't even know. But we... Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, we are not in top 14. Yuki is, so he's true. But where are we? Are we knocked out? Oh my god. Oh. Dude. Don't scare me like that. Don't ever do that again. P15. And three people with five place grip penalties. We're going to take a look at why. Um, we saw three people... Incidents, Perez and Perez 3 collided with each other and Hamilton had some illegal blocking. So if we can manage to get close to them in qualifying, then we already have an advantage and we gain some more positions without even being faster. But we move into Q2. 15 people are still left as we lose the five slowest in Q1 or at the end of Q1. Uh, and this time around, we are only doing one lap as well because we don't really feel the need to do another one. Uh, just yet as we are coming around the final few corners let's take a look at what we can do instead of time i saw landon norris had a fast lap no it is not max is with a 117.821 that's fast lap you know that's very fast but we go across the line now and that's a 118.4 six tenths of max seven i think if we yeah i think we could oh my god what is this qualifying why are we so close in nugget and damn we knocked out russell and hamilton and I think my teammate is well. Yeah, my teammate is in P15 because he's not in the top 14. There you go. Our teammate is starting in P15. But we are now going to start our first lap. Uh, in Q3, I want to do two laps as we have two fresh sets. And I expect a basic one-stop strategy from medium to hearts in the race. So as we go through the first corner, it's a beautiful corner. Um, I've had some tricky moments in practice and stuff. But I managed to keep it all together during qualifying every single time again and again. And this corner is what I like as well, because you can do it very high speed. We have a moment at the exit, but still, we keep it clean, we keep it on track. And that's all we need. It's still a bank run only, so you don't really need to push that hard. As Landon Norris puts in a 117.9. And we go through the final few corners. A big moment. <gasps> oh, boy. Um, are you okay? that was a nasty hit. We are starting P10, I guess. Let's take another look. 
We go on the curb. We try to correct it. And bam. Oh boy. That's a fiery hard crash. You can see it from here as well. I've used a bit of different perspectives. Yeah. It's just touching that curb a bit too much. Not really fully committing. And just a tiny bit of oversteer. Which made me think I was going to lose it. Um, but you know. That's qualifying for us. P10. Or maybe higher with some penalties. Let's find out. Well, once upon a time, this used to be the season opener before it fell victim to a pandemic reshuffling. But now Albert Park is back at the heart of the F1 calendar. So welcome to Sunkissed Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. So here we are at Albert Park Circuit, 3.28 miles around with the streets making for a bumpy surface with little undulation. There are 14 corners around the lake with the best passing opportunities coming at turn one and turn three. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole and Lando Norris lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Albon, Stroll, Lightning, Russell, Joe, Oscar Piastri, Gasly, Perez, Sonoda, Bottas, Sargent, Hamilton, Magnussen, Ocon, and Nico Hülkenberg rounds off the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And joining me in the commentary box today with the best view on what is about to unfold and some strong views on the action we're about to see, Naomi Schiff. I know what we've got to do before the start of today's race, but what about our driver? What do the final hours look like for them? Well, every driver certainly has their own way of preparing themselves before a race. But I can tell you that pre-race rituals are a real thing. When I was in go-karting, I used to touch every wheel in a specific sequence before I got into the cart. And then I stepped up to cars and had a specific set of fireproof base layers just for race day. So watch the drivers when they're on the grid. Some may be sitting on the floor and isolating, others may be up to other things that they do. But these little things really help their minds get ready for the race. We move up to P8 to start this Grand Prix. Let's start with Formation Lab. Let's get it out of here. And let's just get going. Uh, we start behind Stroll and Albon and ahead of Russell and Joe. So Hamilton, of course, had a penalty. The same for Piastri and Pires. Don't really know where they're starting because I didn't okay, look at there. the nice preview one. myself. I always skip that when I'm voiceovering. Uh, but it's time, as we put it in a perfect position, to start this Grand Prix. It's two, three, four, five lights are on. And this lies out and away we go as the Australian Grand Prix has just started. We lose a few positions as we have a terrible start. We move down to P13. Can we find back three wide into turn one? We are still side by side with Valtteri Bottas going towards the second straight into turn three and four. Of course, we are side by side with our teammate going down the inside of Valtteri Bottas. Can we make that overtake stick? Oh, that curb. We need to get used to these curves on the game because on this track you have a lot of curves which are really, really sensitive. Sometimes you can take them flat out and nothing to worry about and sometimes you just crash out like we did in qualifying. Then the Norris is leading this Grand Prix together with, I think it's, I think it's Carlos Sainz. Is it Carlos Sainz? I think it is. So they are having a lovely fight so far. No Max Verstappen in the lead just yet. Can he equal his 10 races? Uh, 10 race wins in a season. No, not in a season, in a row. I'm sorry. In a season, he will easily do. Um, but yeah, we are having some troubles with finding pace. We are still in P13 as we lost five positions at the start. Got our first objective, but we've already seen this one. It's just do not get your engine hot. Luckily, I'm losing time, so that won't uh, heat up my engine as we won't be in the dirty air. But look at that. This is still the old handling. Oh boy, I haven't driven on the new handling just yet as I'm recording this. Um, but as far as I know, it's a bit different and the curbs can still use some work. But that's all I've heard so far. Tsunoda, by the way, is not in P19, not in P20, so that's new for him as well. Uh, to start fighting for points. Uh, but we are bringing upgrades every single weekend, almost every single weekend. 
so that we can help our team get up in the standings. Uh, so far, we've got four points by finishing two. Whoa. I want to say two times in P9, but goddamn, I almost drove into the bag of Bottas. I think there was a bit of contact. Luckily, no damage, even though we are on simulation damage. But the next lap here, in lap 10 already, we go down the inside. Can we make a stick this time? Can we get in front of him, please? Can we go for P11? E no. No. We gained the position, by the way, as one of the Ferraris decided to box. And can we go for it here? We are putting the elbows out. Can we please get that one position to go up into the points? Well, no, because we are fighting for P11 and it's still not updated to the new point system that might be added in the next uh, year of Formula 1 in 2025. So we'll still have to wait for that. We made the overtake stick and it's an exceeding track limits warning. Luckily, it's only our first, so nothing to worry about. And Tsunoda is still P13. Hopefully, he can overtake Bottas as well very soon. That way, we can start fighting for some actual points. Uh, because this fight is actually just for P10. So, I don't really know if we are going to have a fight for P9 again to keep that streak alive. But we go into the pits for our one and only pit stop. Into the pits we go. No penalty. Beautiful entry. Going to the pit box. And it looks like a good pit stop. And so far, so good. So far. Oh, come on. We lost about three seconds there because our right rear tire, if you want to see it again, just, just click back. Click back, press, press backspace. I don't know. What do you use to go back? How did I not know that? Oh my god. Like the left, the left arrow. Just use that one. Yes, it'll be fine. Um, but we have to achieve a lap time of 121.2 as the other drivers are coming out of the pits. And we are still ahead of Yuki Tsunoda, our teammate. Hamilton's still behind as well in P17 at the moment. Um, but we are now behind Albon and Alonso. I think they are ahead of us, as they are on the Haas as well. I think everybody saw it on the medium, because there's not really a difference in between strategies at the moment. Maybe one or two people started on the softs. Uh, not on softs, on the hards. Um, as we had the same moment as we did in qualifying, but this time we were prepared for it, and we didn't stick it into the barrier. We are still going as we are up into the points. Okay, we are up into the points as it shows behind us. PS3 only 2.6 seconds ahead. Can we get close to him? No, no, we cannot. We are 4.8 seconds back now as Joe is catching up to us. Uh, but there's a very good reason for that as I knew that I wasn't going to beat PS3. So I decided, uh, as you can see in the uh, bottom right corner, our fuel is minus 0.24 laps. That means that we have not enough fuel to finish this race. So I decided to lay back a bit, do a lot of uh, lifting and coasting and eventually let Joe through. Still stay with him, but this way we get DRS, we can save our ERS, we can save our fuel and in the last few laps we can start our attack again. Because we really, really need our fuel uh, to stay at a normal level so that we can finish this race. I've noticed in the episode that I've recorded so far that fuel is insane. Uh, there are a few tracks where fuel is like completely, completely normal. If you use a lap, you use exactly a lap. But on tracks like Australia and the next one as well, Japan, I've already recorded that. Um, the fuel is insane, it's not fun anymore. It's like literally you're just crying. You're just crying in the car because you want to keep the fuel on a normal level, but it's just not possible. We are still very close to Joe. You can see in these two turns, it's very easy to stay with him as he has quite a bit. Uh, I think it's a downforce, which is bad at, uh, at Alfa Romeo. I want no, it's kicks out by now. Um, so, so far, so good. Still seven laps to go as Max Steppen is now leading the race. Oh boy, he's going to win again. <laughs> I don't know how he did it, but he's doing a great job so far. We are still very close behind. Fuel is coming down. Only 0.07 laps uh, underneath the fuel target. So, we should be fine with saving two or three more laps and then going for the fight um, to eventually get another P9. That's actually what we're fighting for. We're fighting for P9. Uh, so it's very funny to see that we can maybe manage to get three times in a row. Maybe we get P8 if somebody DNFs. But so far, no DNFs in this season, apart from my DNF and qualifying, of course. But in the new update, uh, there will be more frequent question, uh, cra questions, no, crashes, and more frequent um, like failures for the AI, so that it's more like real life and it's more exciting and unexpecting uh, to see something happen as we only have three laps to go two and a half only uh, but we are now uh, in positive fuel range are we going for the overtake already 
I don't know. I might want to save one more lap of fuel. Or might want to keep saving. As Oh boy, Hamilton is trying to fight against Yuki Tsunoda, my teammate. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if he can gain a point. Maybe we can help him as we are now on the final lap of the Australian Grand Prix. Going side by side? No. To the other side? No. We only have 3% of ERS. Not enough fuel just yet. But we can do that in sector 3. Going side by side. Going onto the most perfect corners for the, for the player as it's very easy for us to um, actually gain time on them as Max Verstappen manages to win the Australian Grand Prix and finish 10 times in a row in P1 but we are not done with this race just yet as they are going 3 wide is my teammate Joe and Hamilton Joe and Yuki Tsunoda are still fighting side by side going through the corners can my teammate finally get a point. It doesn't look like it as he slots in behind. We are now on the final uh, lap and we are on the final straight to gain another two points. We lose fuel on the end, but it, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, we got another two points up. and Mark is once again not happy. And it looks like my teammate also just got no, no points. He didn't get any points as he finished in P11. It's better than before, but still not good enough. Then and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. Wow, that's three wins in a row. They really are on the roll now and really building great momentum. They're clearly one to look out for. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So the podium once again is Max Verstappen on top. Nothing changes there. Uh, but this time around it's Charles Leclerc in P2 and a McLaren. I think it's the McLaren of Landon Norris in P3. Um, so yeah, you can see it's really like real life. Of course, not in this Grand Prix. It's Max Verstappen at the DNF in real life here with Adrian Newey. Um, but yeah, it's really like the performance on quite good i'd say that maybe the alpha tower is a bit too far down as in real life they are a bit faster uh, but the results are in max 7 won the race chance of mp2 landoners in p3 alonso in p4 and albon in p5 that's a great job from albon there of course he's our rival so it's not great for us um show in p10 to finish the on the last point and it looks like no dns logan sergeant p19 Hamilton and Perez, P12 and P13, no points for them. Uh, but we move on in the rating, we go up by one in experience, racecraft, awareness, pace and focus. Let's just say we go up in everything except for the overall rating. We are still 67 uh, rated and recognition in the team hasn't changed just yet. So we still need to go up to 68, 69. <laughs> nice. Uh, but we go back home. It's time to go to the next weekend. But that's not for today. Oh boy, a secret meeting. Are we going to do that today? Are we going to leave that for the next one? I don't know. Interesting. I'll keep you waiting. I mean, like, if you want to see it, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.